be guys, it's me Jill. It's been a while since I did a makeup tutorial, so here's another one. Since we're in summer, I'll be doing a mermaid style makeup tutorial since I love mermaids, they're my everything. I wish I was a mermaid, so maybe with this makeup, I'll become a mermaid. <laughs> As you can see, I already did my foundation, powder, concealer, and my eyebrows. All that we have to do is do the eye look and let's get on with the video. So the first palette I'll be using is this one, which is actually for my mom. I stole it from my mom because it has different shades of green and blue, which are going to be pretty useful for the mermaid look. And the second palette I'll be using, well hopefully I'll be able to use it, is the J Cats Beauty Palette, which is the Melrose Palette. It looks like this. So you can see it has a lot of browns, it has pink, it has purples and blue, but I think I'll mainly use the shimmers since here it doesn't have any shimmers, it has mattes. So I'll definitely be using this for the matte colors. And here I'll be using shimmers to complete the look. Okay, first I'll be using the In Control Concealer by Colorina as kind of like my eyeshadow base, you know, to make my eyeshadows pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna use kind of like this lime green color and I'm just gonna put it all over the lids. Okay, so far it looks good. I'm having a little bit of an issue with the this color that I'm using right now. It's because at first when you put it on, it's not very pigmented, but it, so it takes a while, you know, for build up the color. But right now, it, it looks fine to me. So, but I'm gonna put rings over this one and other, obviously other colors over this one so I guess it doesn't matter if this first color is that pigmented but I don't know if this color is not pigmented you know at the first swipe that I need to take a while you know to build up the color I'm kind of worried about these other colors because I'll be using other shades of green and blue for this so hopefully they work out <laughs> okay so far it looks good but I'm gonna be honest it took me about five times to get this pigmented hopefully you know in the camera it looks the same as I'm looking right here in the mirror but yeah like this color, this lime color, on the first try is not pigmented at all, so it takes a while to build up the color. <laughs> but you know what, since this is like a transition shade and I'm gonna put shadows over this shadow, I guess it doesn't matter if it's this translucent, but it makes me worry that the other shadows are not gonna perform perform how I want them to perform. Okay, now I'm gonna be using this green. This palette doesn't have any names for their shadows, so yeah, we're just gonna have to call it by the color name. So I'm gonna be using this green. It's kind of like a, my transition shade from this color because after this green, I'm gonna put on some blue and then some purple if I have some lid space left to do that so let's see oh my god I literally just did one swipe and my brush is all covered can you see it wait can you see that look how it looks very pigmented let's see if there's okay I tapped it once and the brush is still covered. Let's see if it's pigmented, shall we? <laughs> okay. Okay, this is working. This is working out really nice. 
it looks okay. I, I hope you guys can see the difference I'm seeing, but this is the lid with only this lime green, this right here, and this it's this lime green added in with this one, and I can see the difference. Like this looks popping, and this looks you know boring so far. Okay, now I'll be putting more concealer on the lid so I can put some blue eyeshadow over it. Okay, right now I'll be using this turquoise color that for some reason my mom uses a lot. I don't know why, but uh, let's use it right now and hopefully there's some left. As you can see, she has already hit the pan with this one. Okay, so right now I'll be using this really dark shade of blue, this dark blue, and put it where I put a concealer, so all over the lid. Okay, as I'm applying this blue, I noticed a little bit of fallout, I already brushed it off with this big brush, and it's a little bit patchy. I don't know if you can see it like right here, it's like a little bit patchy, but... But just, you know, blend it out and try to make it all look even. Now we're going back again with the concealer, but this time we're going to put it right here in the inner corners of the eyes so we can add a little pop of purple. So right now we're using the Melrose A by Jcat's Beauty eyeshadow palette and I'll be using this purple shimmer shade. This palette doesn't have any names so we'll just have to call it this purple shimmer shade and put it right here in the inner corners of our eye. Okay, for this you're gonna need this small flat brush to add the shimmer in the inner corners of the eye like this. Which is very, I don't know if you can see it, but that was one swipe. And it's very, you can see it like this. It's very pigmented. Now for underneath here, the waterline or whatever that's called. I'll be using, I think, this purple right here. I think it will look really pretty with this look that I have so far, which so far, it looks really pretty. Now I'll be putting on my favorite mascara, which is the Voluminous Superstar by L'Oreal. It's amazing. I love it so much. Okay, this next step may look and sound weird, but I'll be using this, which is kind of like a fishnet wig cap, some sort. I don't know how to call it. All I know is that it came with a wig that I bought from Party City. Anyways, what I'm gonna attempt to do is put this like this on my face. Let's see if it fits. And <laughs> this looks so weird. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put the fishnets like this and then grab your highlight i'll be using the mermaid how fitting for this the mermaid highlight palette by beauty concepts and shit i'll be using this green i don't know if you can see it let me just take off this plastic so you can see it i look so weird talking with this on but i'll be using this green highlight with this big brush and with this it's gonna help you create the scales of the mermaid so trust me the end result it's gonna be worth it <laughs>
Okay, now you're gonna carefully remove this net. Well, I almost got stuck on my lashes. Okay. I don't know if you can see it well, but, but this is how it looks. You see the highlight is very green and pigmented. I feel like a mermaid. But since this fishnet, I don't think this is a natural fishnet, but since this is like very thin and small, I don't think it's gonna work for everybody. I think if you use like an actual, you know, fishnet tight or something like that, it could work more and it'll be more visible for you. But I want it more subtle since these this eye look is very bold, so I want it to be, the scales to be subtle. Okay, for lips, I was thinking of doing a purple lip, but then I thought, okay, I have like way too many colors in here, you know, with the eyeshadow plus the highlight, so maybe it's better I do a new lip. So I'm taking this Georgiana Modern Matte Lips Lipstick, if you can see it. It's really dark right here in the color Innocent. I'm still learning how to make a proper makeup tutorial but anyways if you like this video thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't all my social medias will be linked down below I added my snapchat in the link also if you want to follow me on snapchat or if you want to add me in my code here it is you can add me on snapchat now and I'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> bye